Shalom and welcome with Bindernovsky. You may wonder why you don't see me. Well, I'm currently in another place and I don't have the camera with me. So I left it behind, or so to say. Well, but never mind, the message is important in another goofball's face. Or maybe I'll, I'll keep it this way, make it easier. However, before you listen to the word, please ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you for wisdom and understanding. Especially since this is, again, in a, in a form of a poem and has a lot of metaphors. And the content is somehow also a bit scattered. But you can read the transcript to sort out the picture if you like to dig deeper into it. The direct link to this word on my website is provided. So I jump now into the word and I'm reading. To fight the good fight. You must stand on my side. A battle in the flesh and politics will utterly fail. And at the end, you might end up eternally in jail. Life is more precious than silver and gold. All things come to pass as by my prophets foretold. Closer with each passing day, the end will arrive. All earthly kingdoms like ancient Rome will not survive. A violent storm rages in the heavenly realm above against my kingdom that is solid rock with peace and love. It's coming down in speed closer to you. You have been warned. My word is true. Only a little time is left for anyone to choose their side. A final decision where in eternity you want to abide. The path to me is narrow. The highway to hell is wide. To come to me needs your repentance, no place for pride. Sheep and goats, one day I will separate those two. As clearly written in my word, nothing out of the blue. The final chapter is opened as written in my book. There is no need to have a closer look. Open your eyes and watch the world around. Blaspheming me and my beloved is the relentless sound. Never before the people were divided so much, emotions and words completely out of touch. Politics was never intended ordinary folks to minister. Like the kings of old, selfishness reigns, planned so sinister. Democracy and elections, people shout out loud. But it's only foolishness without a shred of a doubt. Selection is the reality diddled out behind closed doors, the details tweaked out by the puppet player's chores. My true prophets are not allowed anymore to anoint a king. Someone after my own heart, great blessings it would bring. Political prophets roaming around now, those that are not mine, they flood the scene with the ruining hypocrites all in line. Anoint your king, the one you desire and deserve shall be. But don't complain when all the selfishness in him you'll see. When he plays the plan of wickedness and sinful man, signs up new laws for righteousness and truth to ban. Trials and tribulation come upon this world as never seen before. Soon will arrive in more wars and rumors right at your door. The only place you can be safe is deep in me. For those who don't believe, judgment shall see. Not one, not seven, but seventy times seven. The narrow path is the only one that leads to heaven. The choice in politics is reduced to vote or not. Yet I allow the leaders to continue with their evil plot. If you would truly humble yourself and turn your heart to me, Judgment would be spared, as Nineveh, grace again you would see. You could experience the same, but it requires repentance of all sin. It truly would touch my heart, and I would change you from deep within. But time is here for all things to come to an end very soon. As my true prophet saw and declared, with a darkened sun and bloody moon, Peace and safety, war and chaos, everything side by side. Then destruction comes so suddenly as much as I will take my bride. Not many are really prepared for the very hour that day. 
ignorant theology and skeptics are not ready on their knees to pray. That day they will learn the lesson of my higher ways, when pure evil and horror will accompany their remaining days. Today you have a choice unlike in politics, where you are fooled by all their diabolic tricks. By the choice in me you'll find love in all your heart's desires. I'm the only one who can keep you safe in all the coming fires. My words are true as I am the truth, the eternal life, the way. Choose me now, because besides salvation, there's nothing else to say. All right, that was the word. When he takes his bride, I don't know when. Maybe soon, maybe sooner than soon, maybe later. So and at least for Americans, it's election year, not for me, I'm far away. Of course, madness is not much better than here than in the US. That's not no selections nearby. Uh, my, my recommendation, vote for Yeshua and then you're on the right side. Not a political right, but a real true, real right side. And this is the center of all life. You'd have Wafa sits above and the earth is his footstool. And the disciples did not understand when they were arguing, you will sit on the right and on the left beside Yeshua. I want to sit, I want to sit on his lap because his kingdom is not of this world. There's plenty of space in his lap for all of us. Heaven surely is so different that we can only laugh about politics or position, just like Adonai himself, as is written in Psalms 2. And though indeed in heaven, at least the judgment and there's left and right, the sheep will be on his right. The goats on the left is basically to the outer darkness where there will be gnashing of teeth. Maybe that that left that speaks enough about politics and their positions or how men defined the positions. However, you can make a specific choice. At least this Shua gave us the free will to do so. Just don't complain if you vote against him and never repent and then find yourself in an eternity in in the place that was originally created for the devil and his angels only. But enough now, until the next time, here on this channel or in the air, whether with or without a video of me, be blessed and Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.